What's up, guys? Uh, I know in my last video I said that I would be having or I would upload a model railroading rail fanning video, and uh, something came up Saturday, and I only was in Cowan for like five minutes. I wouldn't say five minutes, but maybe like 30 minutes. I saw one train, it was like three CSX, it was a uh, Jeevo SD50 2 and a uh, CW44AC. So, um, I have a little layout video. Um, I'm actually going to be building the layout. Uh, but here's the thing. We don't have room for a table. So what I'm going to be doing is, uh, this might sound crazy, but what I'm doing is I'm going to put a drop cloth down on my floor. And I'm going to take a piece of plywood and uh, do all my stuff on it. And then whenever the layout is fully complete, whenever I want to get it out, run some trains, I'm going to slide it out from under my bed. I'm going to put the board under my bed and I'm going to put things around it to where my cat or dog can't get in there and mess everything up. So, uh, I'm going to show you the track plan right now. And keep in mind, this isn't going to be like a city or anything. It's going to be like a, uh, I don't really know what it is really. Uh, it's not really going to have any houses. It might have like one house here or something that I still haven't added yet. But, uh, it's going to be a single main line with a siding right here going to come around over a crossing come by the church if you can't read that upside down it's the church come by it's going to have a three track yard counting the main and then i'm going to have a grain elevator right here and then i'm going to have a little rail fanning platform right here so it's going to have one siding of course and a little yard and then it's going to have the yard office area right here store like a little market or something and then it's going to have the main road coming through. And I'll probably add a house or two or a couple buildings here and there. And also, uh, basically, if you're wondering what railroad I'm modeling, I'm going to stick with uh, possibly either Union Pacific or Norfolk Southern. Probably Union Pacific. Just Union Pacific, and I'm probably going to run some Bano stuff power. Because, you know, those two kind of run together out west, so... Probably going to do Union Pacific with a uh, BNSF power. And what I'm doing is I'm not doing a California style uh, scenery. I'm basically doing a either a Oklahoma or a Illinois style scenery on the Union Pacific. So, uh, yeah, that's really what I'm going to be modeling. You probably think where I live here in Tennessee, I'd model CSX or Norfolk Southern or something. So, uh, but no, I'm going to go for something different and I'm going to uh model the union pacific and bnsf and of course i'll have like csx and run through power or yeah like class ones do and then also my arlx sd45 is coming back i believe either this week or next week and uh here's a photo of it now Okay, so maybe y'all can see the differences from what my friend has done. And uh, if you want to know his channel, it's uh, Central Alabama Rail Fan. Go subscribe to him. Get him up to 130 subscribers. He's been at 120. Uh, or the name of the town that I'm modeling is Dixon. Uh, I'm not sure if there's really a place in Illinois called Dixon. There probably is, but... I'm just going to name the little town or village or something Dixon. So, I'm going to be using Cato Unitrack HO scale. I'm probably going to do DC uh, until I can get up enough money to do a DCC system. But, I'm probably not going to do a DCC system just because I don't really have a full up table, you know. But, uh, I have the layout at Cowan to run my DCC stuff on. So, yeah, I'll probably just run my DC stuff here and my DC stuff and DC at Cowan. So until then, I'll catch you guys later.